fourscore and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth a new nation, conceived in liberty, dedicated to the preposition that all men are created equal. They are well endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. And among these, life, liberty, and the pursuit of pleasure, you know, <laughs> happiness. <laughs> I'm from the Seventh Ward. The Seventh Ward is a very historical part of New Orleans because uh, during slavery time, they had uptown garden district where all the masters lived and the, the French Quarter where all the boats and the people came in. The uh, slave masters would have this other part of town they would frequent because they at some point decided that a quadroon was the best genetic mix of black and white. For a woman to be one-fourth black was said to be the perfect mix of the blood. And so each year they would have what they call a quadroon ball, where the mothers would get their daughters ready and hopefully uh, one of the masters or the upperclassmen would come and pick out a woman to be his mistress. And he was set her up in this part of town, the seventh ward. So all of the Negroes in that part of town were uh, more fair skin. Uh, they had more white blood than Negroes, say, uptown. The seventh ward, when I was growing up, I remember the club, like the autocrat club. It's still called that. Yeah, it is still called that. And it's does still it exist? That. Yes, it does. Really? Yeah. Wow. So what do they do there? Is well, on bands? Friday nights, they, they have uh, fish and it's always crowded cars are parked all the way by my house and you know the I don't know I've never come in to see what's happening there so but, uh, if but, you were African-American you couldn't get in there no no you African-Americans were the only ones that came in but just fair skin okay fair skin. okay you had, that's where you had the paper bag right to, to join the club to become a member of the autocrat social and pleasure club they had this uh, thing called a brown paper bag test. Where they put a brown paper bag next to you. If you were darker than the bag, then you couldn't get in the club, OK? <laughs> Segregation among blacks. <laughs> the critics say I'm a jazz guitarist whenever they write about me, but I don't try to do that. I just play uh, this music that is part of my experience. That's all I can play. <laughs> now I've studied a bit, and I try to play one way across the board, whether I'm playing with the Preservation Hall Jazz Band or with the Dirty Dozen Brass Band, with Fats Domino, with Sun Ra, with Bo Diddley. I'm, I'm trying to just play one way and kind of have it where it fits. My people from Canada, I mean Canada, my Canadian cousins. And Canadian cousin? Yeah, I got a cousins in Canada. <laughs> you didn't know about that. Yeah, I got to do some somewhere. Yeah, all, all up in there, up and through here. <laughs> all up in there, all up in there, up in here. Yeah. Friends. <laughs> uh -huh. you, you did the ancestry.com? This lady here did it. Okay. That's how she found me. Okay. You know? Outstanding guitarist. And how to sing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, boy. I agree. <laughs> Entertain him. I agree, yes. You gotta enjoy and have a blessed day. All right. All right, Jerry. Take care. Thank you, man. I didn't meet many LeBlancs when I was coming up, and no black LeBlancs at all. But one day I was in a play with a, a young man, and he told me his mother's maiden name was LeBlanc, and he was white. And we used to make jokes like, you're my cousin, right? Until one day he went and talked to his mother about it. And I talked to my grandfather to trace our roots as far back as we could. And we both traced back to Donaldsonville, Louisiana, to the land of a man named Davey LeBlanc. And they said everybody on his land was named LeBlanc, black and white. So I guess he really was my cousin. <laughs> 